Hey everybody, welcome back to Leosophy. Um, this is the second in the business series, and I'm going to be talking about business plans. They're very important, and uh, they're not necessary. In fact, a lot of businesses don't originally have one. But what's great about them is two things. A business plan shows how you are going to operate, how you're going to make money, um, how the hierarchy is going to be structured. In my personal opinion, there should always be one person who has the last word in matters because otherwise infighting and, and, and things like that can be an issue. And, and just culturally, we're, we're very averse to that because, you know, the whole republic democracy thing has been pushed for so long that people think that every single institution should be run that way. And no. I, I genuinely don't believe so. I think somebody should have the last word in matters, as uncomfortable as people in the West can be with that concept. That being said, it showcases how you're structured. It showcases uh, the entity that you are, but more importantly, it shows how you're going to make money because that's the point of a business. That's what investors want to know. That's what the banks who might give you a loan want to know. That's not what your customers want to know, but it's how you're going to get customers. It's how you're going to ensure that you have the means to not be in that 50% of businesses that fail within five years. So a plan is super important. And the biggest and most important element of a plan is that it showcases that you've done some research. Because if you just say, you know what? Because I've mentioned in the previous episode, you can start a business in like an hour. It's very easy. But have you done the necessary research to ensure that it will do well? You know, it doesn't matter what it is. It needs to be researched. It needs to be planned out. If you're going to start a bakery in Philadelphia that makes tiramisu, it's like, okay, well, where are you going to put it? Oh, you're going to put it right there? Oh, well, guess what? Right there, right next to you is another bakery that specializes in tiramisu. See, those kinds of things are huge foibles. And I know that sounds like a silly um, example, but that is the point, is that people do. They don't look at their competition. They don't look at how saturated the market is in their particular area. They don't look at what's going to make them stand out and be unique compared to any competing entity. And those are the kinds of things that you want to highlight in a business plan. You want to highlight both how you're going to uh, make money, how you're going to be structured, and the things that are going to differentiate you from, say, any other competitor. And what's great about that is once you've made some sort of determination as to what makes you different, in a positive way, can't be a negative way, um, then investors are going to be more interested because they're going to see that possible value that you could bring, and they want in on that. Same thing with banks when with regard to loans. So making a plan is, I think, very understated. A lot of people, when they think about starting a business, they just think about, hey, well, let's start a business. I get along with this person. <laughs> well, guess what? That's not... Getting along isn't really the most important thing. In fact, uh, I have found that a lot of people who are really good friends, they go into business, and next thing you know, they're enemies. And a lot of people who otherwise don't really see to eye to eye, to eye blah, blah, see eye to eye or get along, they go into business together and they work together great. So it's it's a it's a very different matter from say a school group project where chemistry can sometimes be more important than the actual chemistry involved. So just something to be aware of. If you have any inkling as to what you want to do with regard to a business, one very, sorry about the spittle, guys. Man, I swear, uh, shaving and not having a beard, it's, it chaps your lips. Anyway, um, not having an adequate plan in place to, to showcase step-by-step step how you're going to actually succeed almost guarantees your failure. So it's something you absolutely need to do. There are so many templates you can get from the internet that'll give you an idea as to how to create one. So I'm not even going to worry about that component. It's not it's not rocket science, but it is necessary. And by necessary, I mean you can start a business without it, but I've not really seen too many successful entities that are still around because if you don't have that plan in place, you're 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 ultimately sowing the seeds of your own uh, destruction, at least in terms of, of that business endeavor that you've got. Anyway, that's all I got. Like, share, subscribe, keep asking questions. Bye.